Hello and welcome back to The Other Way with me, Lebohang T. Silemel. Today is the 2nd of February and as we know, February marks a month for love. And so what a better way to dedicate the next two episodes to love. Last week, Sunday, we did our first giveaway. This week, I will be launching the Valentine's Special Edition where two lucky subscribers will win themselves some nice hampers. As you can see, I did visit the shop which I will be collaborating with and I will definitely be bringing you the inside out or the inside story of the shop. So do stay tuned and switch on your notification because you really don't want to miss out and I will be giving you the details of how to go about winning yourself those hampers. Shout out to all the new subscribers and thank you, thank you so much and welcome to our growing family. I hope you will definitely grow and be empowered. Just like you, I'm also learning in the process. So thank you immensely for subscribing. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to engage. Also, I would like to give a shout out to Rukeya Khan's niece. Yesterday, it was her birthday. Those balloons were meant for her. So I hope that she had a beautiful birthday. And if you have a loved one that you really want to celebrate, this is your platform as well. You can tell me, just leave it on the comment section and I will definitely do a shout out for them. Whether it's an anniversary, whether it's a birthday, whether it's congratulations for their achievements at school, I'll definitely do that. Today, it's all about love, the true nature of love. We are looking into... What is love? What makes us fall in love with the people we fall in love with? Have you ever taken a moment and asked yourself what makes you fall in love with a certain person anyway? And what is this love? In this episode, I offer provocative answers in my own perspective. It is the other way, not the ultimate way, but a different outlook to those which are already in existence and written about. What is love? Whenever I ask people this question, most describe love in Hollywood myth or physical beauty and poetic passion. All of that may well be a thrilling part of um, attraction and courtship, but it is definitely not love. For most people, love has become synonymous with physical embrace. They don't understand that love is beyond that, that it has the possibility for growth and beautiful excitement over and above physical attraction. The minute you understand what love is, there will be less delusions and heartaches, be it in your love relationship or marriage. This is how I describe love. It is the passionate and abiding desire on the part of two people. It takes two people to produce together conditions under which each can be and spontaneously express his or her real self without fear, you know, to produce together an intellectual space and an emotional climate in which each can flourish far superior to what either could have been or could have achieved alone. That's how I describe love. Both parties involved think more of a partnership than they do of themselves. It's not about Lebo alone, but also my partner. It is an interweaving of interest and facing sacrifices as a partnership for the sake of both. You know, when you are in love, it's not every person for himself or herself. It is a partnership. It's all about giving each other the feeling of security and contentment, you know, that comes from mutual efforts. You are building a nest for both of you. That's why I was saying that you're creating an intellectual space and emotional climate for the both of you. The happiness of love, of, of a loving setup does not come from one individual. It is in the togetherness of both and their behavior. You have to protect each other's hearts. When you are in love, you don't think for yourself only. I've also come to observe that the more completely one can express his or herself, 
to another person, the more deeply they become in love. This means that if you, you can speak honestly to your partner without fear of being misunderstood or any form of repraisal, then you're in a safe space. But if there is fear of expressing yourself because you will be misunderstood, it means both of you are not producing an intellectual and emotional climate in which each can be his or her real self. And that is sad because there is no way that you will flourish in such conditions. Where you are oppressed, you know, whether emotionally, physically, and financially, and other way, and spiritually. If you can't express who you are in a relationship, there is very limited chance of you becoming the best person that you can be. It is not a safe environment. Be that as it may, I am not in any way suggesting that you ought to live vicariously through another person. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That will be wrong. When you do that, it means you have an inability to express your individuality in a relationship. There are so many, so many misleading emotions that can create a false sense of love for. For example, when you have a compulsive desire to be needed. Or when a man wants um, to be mothered. No. We may think uh, uh, such behavior is love, but it is not. You are not in love when you want somebody to be your mother. You, I don't know what you're seeking. You're looking for your mother, basically. You're looking for a parental figure, and your partner is not that. And at times we may think that we are in love because of the way another person makes us feel, but love is not delight in me. It's not about me. Remember, it's not about another person being caught in who you are. That that's not love. Love is self-realization together in us. I did say that before. It's about realizing who you are in an intellectual space that you have created for the both of you. Remember, two mutually inf in infatuated people can want each other desperately without love. In this case, what seems to be love is nothing but a blind delight of infatuation. Whereas when I say being in love is self-realization in us together, it means two people who are in a loving relationship have a right to pursue individual interest that will be beneficial for the both, for the both of you. Being in love does not mean we have to do everything together. You know, it's it's not about that. You can still be an individual in a partnership. It's about celebrating the best of what the other person is and bringing that into that partnership. And to think that true love is blind, now that's a lie. True love is not blind. It does see faults as well as virtues. Accepting the fact that no one is perfect, now that's true love. The nature of true love is able to notice what is perfect and what is not perfect. But it really doesn't dwell much on that. The true nature of love will say to you, Baby, I love you with all your weaknesses and strong traits. It doesn't exclude one above the other. And despite all of those difficulties, true love sees so much value in solid partnership. That's all I have for you today, but for the next two episodes, I will be exploring more on the issue of love. Until then, stay blessed.